How's it going everyone? Have quite a bit to talk about in this video. A PlayStation Plus Extra title has just gotten a pretty major update. Uh, if you're on PlayStation 5, the game is on Plus Extra. If you're on PlayStation 4, a little bit of a bummer there, but we'll talk all about that. And uh, Ghost Runner 2, a closed beta sign-up, is now open and major news is set for the near future. Ghost Runner is a game that I really enjoyed. It was a PlayStation Plus Essential title um, a while ago, and it, it's a really good game. I understand if not everybody's into it. And I believe the game is still on PS Plus Extra, so you can play it that way as well. But Ghost Runner 2, closed beta signups, and upcoming fighting game does get a release date. We'll talk that at the end of this video. But first of all, World War Z Aftermath Holy Terror Update trailer has dropped. The Holy Terror Update is live now on PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4, featuring a new Horde mode, Excel map, new class perks, new weapons, and much more. The trailer is fairly brief at a minute long. But it showcases new weapons, um, it showcases new perks for various classes, and the new map as well. World War Z is one of the better co-op uh, co titles that you can find on the market. Now, World War Z Aftermath is not available uh, on PlayStation 4 through PlayStation Plus Extra. However, World War Z Aftermath is, uh, like, it's auto-built into the PlayStation 5 version, and that version is on Plus Extra. So that version, if you're on PS5, you'll be able to play it through Plus Extra, and you'll get the update and everything like that. So just keep that in mind. I know most of you guys are on PS5 by now, but for the four of you that are still on PS4, uh, yeah, that is a little bit of a bummer. World War Z Aftermath is noted to be the ultimate co-op zombie shooter based on Paramount Pictures' blockbuster film, and the next evolution of the original hit, World War Z, that has now captivated over 20 million players, turned the tide of the zombie apocalypse across consoles and PC with full crossplay. Join up to three friends, and that is imperative. You want to play this game cooperatively, you can play on your own with AI teammates, but um, I would recommend that. Against the hordes of ravenous zombies in intense story episodes of across new zombie ravaged locations around the world, World War Z Aftermath also includes all the content from the Game of the Year edition of the original game. Players who own the original will be able to purchase Aftermath, but uh, if you're on Plus Extra, you'll get that. New stories from A World at War, all new uh, story episodes play as both new and returning characters, and the next generation of the zombie swarm play in glorious 4K and 60 frames per second on PlayStation 5 and endure endless waves of increasingly difficult zombies in the new Horde Mode XL game mode on PlayStation 5 featuring hundreds more zombies on screen than ever before. Horde Mode XL is um, next-gen only, so keep that in mind as well. So, uh, yeah, that update rolling out now. You've got a new map, uh, new class perks, new weapons, and more rolling out with that. All right, moving on from that, Ghost Runner, a game that I had talked about in a previous video. As I mentioned, it was a Plus Essential title. It's on Plus Extra. It's a game that I enjoyed. I can definitely see why the game wouldn't be for everyone. I thought the platforming elements in the game were great, but uh, definitely it had a tendency to make me rage. Um, but I rage at a lot of games, so that doesn't say a lot. But uh, what I really liked about Ghost Runner is how quickly it got you back into doing your runs because you're going to mess up a lot, but it does a good job in getting you right back into the thick of things. And I think they're going to parlay that into Ghost Runner 2. And again, closed beta signups are open right now. The next major drop of Ghost Runner 2 news is coming on August 21st. The game notes Blood will run in the highly anticipated hardcore first-person perspective slasher set one year after the events of Ghost Runner. Adventure through a post-apocalyptic cyberpunk future that takes place after the fall of the Keymaster, a tyrant who ruled over Dharma Tower, the last refuge of mankind. Jack is back to take on the violent AI cult that has assembled outside Dharma Tower and shaped the future of humanity, featuring incredible katana combat mechanics and deeper exploration of the world beyond Dharma Tower, non-linear levels with complex motorbike sections. That should be interesting to go through. Except Exciting new modes and all the action you loved about Ghost Runner. Plus, boss fights are more interactive, giving players freedom to choose how to survive battles against the toughest of opponents. You become the ultimate cyber ninja. Ghost Runner 2 introduces new skills, allowing players to be more creative and take on even the most demanding encounters with greater accessibility. However, enemies in Ghost Runner 2 behave uniquely dependent on the skills used against them, providing a fresh challenge with each encounter. The player progression system has been completely redone, providing opportunities to experiment and customize gameplay. Immersive, a mind bending features master the cyber void if you hope to survive take on challenging new enemies as you traverse interactive environments including exploding barrels destructible walls helpful neutral entities and countless improvements that keep combat exciting and fresh can't get enough dive even deeper into the lore and plot with the new dialogue system and sounds of the cyber void save humanity in style as you decimate your opponents while listening to the captivating synthwave soundtrack featuring new music from a variety of different artists now ghost runner 2 is a next gen only title it is scheduled for a release in 2023 i would have imagine that this big information update coming August 21st is going to be announcing a release date as well because 
you know, we're about to enter the final quarter of the year, and, uh, you know, that should be uh, coming together here very, uh, very quickly. And again, beta signups live right now. You just have to put in some information, uh, email, your name, everything like that. Um, you know, if you have um, accounts on other social media platforms, what social media platforms do you have? And uh, they have some images there as well. They'll review each beta application manually, so please take time to complete them. So, you know, jump on that. If you haven't played the first game, I would recommend you to do so. Not for everyone, but I thought it was an incredibly stylish game with a great soundtrack as well as highlighted in the info drop on Ghost Runner 2. Lastly, I do want to know, Grand Blue Fantasy vs. Rising will be launching November the 30th. This is the follow-up to Grand Blue Ver uh, Fantasy vs., and it's going to be a substantial improvement upon that rise to the challenge in Grand Blue Fantasy vs. Rising. This powered up revamp sequel to Grand Blue Fantasy vs. is more enjoyable and accessible than ever before with simplified input options. Even newcomers can engage in thrilling and strategic matches. It's a party. Claim your crown in the Grand Bruise Legends. Need a break from matches? Take a breather and experience a one-of-a-kind island lobby filled with fun attractions. You can even go head-to-head -head with other players online in a variety of obstacle courses and survival games in an all-new party mode. Grand Blue Bruise Legends Legends, avatar character and mode availability is limited in the free edition. Stay focused on the battle, not the controls. Newcomers can fully enjoy the intensity and thrills of one-on-one -on -one combat without needing to memorize complicated controls. Simple inputs can be used to perform skills with the press of a single button. You have a captivating story campaign, embark on a journey through the vast skies of Grand Blue Fantasy Versus, and immerse yourself in an epic adventure while mastering the fundamentals of gameplay as you take on more quests in this action RPG inspired experience. You'll continue to grow stronger. If you didn't play the first game, the first game actually had a pretty robust single player component as well and it looks like they're building upon that and get creative with the digital figure studio the only limit is your imagination construct original dioramas from a massive collection of high quality 3d models from the grand blue fantasy versus a series the game will be 49.99 for the standard edition a deluxe edition can be had for 75 dollars it's funny because versus has been going on sale for literally a buck 99 the reason being is because they knew uh, everybody is going to be shifting uh, shifting to versing ri uh, versus rising so no reason to charge a premium for that, and I do commend them uh, for that as well. Uh, art style of Grand Blue Fantasy Versus has been fantastic. Grand Blue in general has been fantastic. Character design is great, and uh, yeah, Grand Blue making an impact over here stateside with this, with uh, versus uh, the original, and you know, obviously Relink coming out next year. Uh, a lot of reason to be excited. A free edition will be available, which includes four playable characters, the first part of the story, and online play and lobby access, as I mentioned, and a second open beta test will be happening this fall, so be on the lookout for that as well. But that'll do it for me. Again, World War Z Aftermath getting a notable update with the Holy Terror update. Ghost Runner 2, closed beta signups live right now in Grand Blue Fantasy Versus. We'll be launching November 30th, PlayStation 5, PS4, PC, and it will have a free edition uh, around the time of launch as well. That'll do it for me. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comments section down below. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.